Meet Yuki Nakai, the giant killer who sacrificed his eyesight for MMA's future. During the very early years of MMA, the sport had a reputation for being barbaric. Condemning the sport as human cockfighting politicians and mainstream sports were dead against mixed martial arts. Thanks to a deeper understanding, for the most part MMA is accepted in the modern age. Although not as embedded as pursuits such as football, basketball or baseball, MMA is doing great considering its young age. Although many new fans may not know it, mixed martial arts is built on sacrifice. One particular man's story shows just how far old school warriors were willing to go. In this video, the focus is Yuki Nakai, a fighter who quite literally sacrificed his eye for the sport of MMA. Back in the 90s when Nakai was fighting, mixed martial arts was quite different, with competitors often sticking primarily to one martial art. For Nakai, the focus was on the ground game, with a strong background in judo and amateur wrestling. In his short career he fought a total of 12 times, although the last three fights weren't fought at Shudo, but rather at a tournament for Vail Tudo Japan 1995, a night which changed his life forever. As part of Vail Tudo Japan 1995, Nakai fought three times in one night as part of a tournament, facing three men who all outweighed him. In the first fight, Nakai faced 6'5 kickboxer Gerard Gordo. While Nakai had control of his opponent's arm, Gordo purposely gouged Nakai's eye, inflicting a life-changing eye injury, leaving it terribly swollen and causing damage, which would be enough to deter any fighter from competing. Nakai didn't stop or take a timeout, but instead fought on, finally managing to capitalize on his position and defeating Gordo. Nakai's valiant fighting spirit was on full display. Not many people would have the determination to step back into the ring again not just once, but twice the same night. But Nakai did. In the second fight he was outweighed by 100 pounds. Despite his impaired vision and presumably suffering some immense pain, Nakai again pulled off a stunning submission win. By this time he was completely blind in his right eye. Before we finish the video, if you enjoyed this content, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get the latest videos from MMA on the go. In the final fight he faced Tricks and Gracie. Rickson is a legend in himself, who stepped into the ring undefeated. Even though he could have just given up then, Nakai faced the challenge once more. Whilst Rickson was respectful, he still managed to overpower Nakai. After that night, Nakai kept his blindness a secret for years, not wanting to ruin the slowly improving reputation of MMA. Yuki Nakai literally sacrificed his eye for the sport of MMA. After retiring from MMA, Nakai became interested in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, not due to his own defeat to Rickson, but Noboru Asahi's loss to Royler Gracie in 1996. He learned from Ensign Inoue, and a year later he participated in his first BJJ tournament. Nakai was eventually granted a black belt by Carlos Gracie Jr., becoming the first person from Japan to hold a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yuki Nakai's story is one which I feel deserves to be better known than it is. It's a story of the true fighter spirit, showing more heart and determination in one night than most fighters show across their entire career. Hats off to you Nakai, a true legend of MMA, Jiu-Jitsu and combat sports.